Hello everyone, this is Consub1 bringing you some fresh gameplay from the land down under. Well, over on the Peggy website, they recently released a classification for a Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered. We've taken the lead. And this has led many people, myself included, to believe that there is a remaster of sorts of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 coming to the in the near future, or at least to the PS4. This also coupled with the fact that Mod Warfare Remastered has been added as a free-to-play game for the PS Plus members. It's been similar to how Black Ops 3 was made free-to-play for Black Ops 4. It's led many to believe that, yes, the next game is going to be Mod Warfare 4. And that not only will there be a Modern Warfare 2 remaster campaign, there will most likely be a Modern Warfare 3 remaster campaign, and that will be serving to catch up people to the story of Modern Warfare. Now, this is entirely a possibility, and indeed seems like a really solid one. But I actually have am here to present you with an alternate theory. Namely, that, well, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is technically a sledgehammer game as the fight that ultimately led to the de Respawn Entertainment and some disagreements between Activision and Infinity Ward ultimately led to Sledgehammer taking over the development for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 making it also technically the first game of the three year development cycle. So looking at this I can't help but think that maybe just maybe Rather than a proper Modern Warfare 4, we might actually be getting basically a separate timeline. An Infinity Ward Modern Warfare 3. And while this does annoy me slightly that they think about recording this campaign for Modern Warfare 3, as Modern Warfare 3 was the first Call of Duty game I played to any degree of seriousness. alongside the original Black Ops. Kind of played those two in the same year. It would be a very interesting take to see how they do it, especially considering I really can't see where they're actually going to take the Modern Warfare story after Modern Warfare 3 without basically making the story of Modern Warfare 3 kind of inherently pointless. Anyway, that's my two cents. But again, the good news is also that Mod Warfare Remastered, which is honestly a solid game that actually has loot boxes as I do them, is now free to play for PlayStation Plus users. And that means that this very much underappreciated giveaway with, infinite, with special editions of Infinite Warfare is now even more of a giveaway. Quite frankly, it also goes off to show just how good the original Modern Warfare was. So yeah, if you've got a PlayStation Plus membership, grab this game, it is loads of fun. Plus, also, you can set up custom game nights with, like, no scopes with snipers on shipment. You know it's going to happen, people. I'm going to somehow make that happen. And we are done here. Anyhow, please like, subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, this is Consabot1, signing out.